Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to learn how to make this beautiful purse. It's simple yet beautiful. I will walk you through each and every step. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, for making this purse we are going to use this yarn. I'm going to use this cotton trims from Valdemar, 100% cotton yarn. It is a four ply yarn. Okay, you can use any four ply yarn. Okay, just have to keep the counts uh, how it is, and you can make a small purse, big purse, and you can do it if, however you like to change the size and all. Okay, and today's hook we are going to use is 5 mm. We are going to need one of the flowers which we made in our previous uh, video. Okay, I'm going to use that flower for decor uh, for decoration of the purse. If you like, you can use the flower or you can do other flower or you can just simply skip that part. Okay, we will use. Uh, matching thread and sewing needle scissors some stitch marker one yarn needle okay and and some of these beads if you like you can get them these crystal beads which are there okay if you want it's totally an optional okay so with this things ready let's get started Okay, we are going to start by sin circle. Okay, you can use the sin circle method or you can chain four and start uh, join the chain to create a circle and then start your first. Okay, then we'll do the sin circle and then we are going to chain one. Okay. And in this circle, we are going to work six single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Once you have all the six single crochet, pull out the Tail, close the circle now here we are not going to slip stitch and join but we are going to work in rounds okay so so I suggest you grab your stitch marker here okay in the first stitch we are going to put our single crochet we are going to go directly there whatever the first single crochet one more single crochet and then mark the first stitch one two here is the first stitch i'm going to mark that okay now we are going to put two single crochet in each stitch so we'll have total number of 12 single crochet now we had six before now we'll have 12 Now when you reach at the stitch marker, we are going to remove the stitch marker. Now we are going to increase again. So we are going to put one single crochet and followed by the increase. And we are going to do an increase in the increase. This V stitch here, two, double, uh, two single crochet in one stitch. We are going to put two single crochet in that stitch. Okay, so now I'm going to count three stitches because I put two single crochet and one. So one, two, and three. And in the third one, I'm going to mark my first stitch here. Okay, 
now we are going to follow the pattern that is one single crochet and then the increase that is two single crochet in the same stitch okay follow it throughout the round till the end so now for each and every round from now onwards your last stitch will be an increased stitch that will be two single crochet okay then now for the next round we have to put two single crochet then the increase so i'm putting my two single crochet one and two and i'm going to mark my first stitch one and two so the first one here okay then i will continue the round that is after two single crochet increase in this increase Two single crochet in that followed by two single crochet in two separate stitches then the increase is two single crochet in same stitch okay so continue this till the end and once we reach at the stitch marker we are going to remove the stitch marker this is for the each round so now we are going to have three single crochet for the previous round we had two so now one two i'm going to put my stitch marker in the first stitch here that's what i'm going to do every time i start so i'll put the first two and mark the first one and then continue till i get this v stitch here that is the increase that is two single crochet in the same stitch and plus the counting one two and three and then increase okay so in previous round it was two single crochet before the increase this time it is three so one two and three and then comes the increase so continue till the end and i'll see you soon after you finish this round you're going to remove the stitch marker then put my two single crochet at first one two mark the first stitch okay now i know that previous one it is three single crochet before the increase now it is the four so one two three and four and then comes the increase and this will be continued for this round and then you're going to work in this way each and every round till you get 20 single crochet between the two increases now we have four okay so you're going to go round and round in the same way marking always your first stitch continuing the round and going for the next one so you're going to have 20 stitches before the increase before the two increases there will be 20 stitches okay 20 single crochet and that's when you'll come back here and then we are going to do the next part okay so yes i finished my round and i have 20 single crochet between the two increases okay now this will be the last round for this circular panel okay I'm going to remove my stitch marker then i'm going to put one single crochet in the next one one single crochet in the next mark my first stitch okay and now this round we are not going to increase anything we are just putting a single crochet round okay so you're just going to put single crochet 
in each round till you reach the end okay so just put single crochet till the end okay uh, meet me back here and I'll show you the next step okay when you finished your single crochet round each and every round we are going to remove the stitch marker and then we are going to slip stitch in the first stitch where our stitch marker was there slip stitch chain one snip the yarn and pull it out okay that's done that's all okay so that's how we are going to finish our one side of the first panel okay so now what here's what you're going to do you are going to do exactly the same the second one okay we are going to use two sides front side and back side so you're going to make so you're going to make another one same okay so start the same way if you want you can just re re go back uh, rewind the video and just see how it is done and make another panel okay so here's my another panel ready okay so i've done my two panels here so now what we are going to do is we are going to mark the placement for a belt okay so we need an opening for the purse so these are the stitches i have counted so you can keep either here okay there's two corners okay worked that you can keep or you can go any further wherever you want so after the increase part i have taken one two three four five six extra stitches this side and this side okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to keep it like this early okay if you want you can put another marker here just for in case to know this side and then one more marker goes the other side too And one more marker goes the other side too. Yeah. And always make sure that you count the stitches. Okay. That both the sides are equal. And the stitches around the down part. Okay. How many stitches you have. Because that is important for the next part of the part. But now we are going to create a, a separate uh, panel for here that we are going to attach for the purse around the whole around part okay for that so let's start making that part now so for time being i'm going to keep that aside i'm going to take my yarn make a slip knot and then we are going to chain nine one two three four five six seven eight nine i'm going to turn my chains and going to work in the back hump of the chain yeah and now in from the hook in the second chain the back hump only we are going to make single crochet single crochet in the next one and all the other chains so we are going to have eight single crochet eight stitches once you have your eight stitches we are going to chain one turn our work and single crochet in the first one single crochet in the next one and in all the eight stitches okay so here we are just going to do back and forth okay single crochet rows now how many rows you are going to make that's the next question yeah 
So here's the thing what you are going to do. You are going to work back and forth for the number of stitches you have here, this side. Not the opening side, the other side of the purse. Okay, so you're going to count each and every stitch from here to here, and you're going to get that many rows for the side panel here. This side, okay, it will be like this. Okay, so go ahead and continue single crochet rows till you get the number of stitches you need here okay so continue and make your panel and meet me back here and then we are going to do our next work okay once you have your panel here i have mine here okay i have 96 chains here left okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take one of the panel okay like this and we are going to join them okay yeah we are going to join them with a single crochet round so this will be my first stitch so the front side is facing the other side and the back side the inside part is facing me okay so i'm going to go and set my hook and the last stitch down here and the stitch marked here which i marked over here in that stitch i'm going to go and make my first single crochet so here every end of every row every part you're going to take and single crochet in the stitch like this okay this is one row this is another row here end of the stitch here and the stitch uh, opposite here in that one single crochet here and here single crochet okay so you, you're going to just single crochet all the way till you reach the other side now here's what you're going to in case you miss one stitch your one stitch less then you can always move this second stitch marker up and down and then you can adjust it according to it for the next panel also okay so don't worry if you're extra or if you're less it's okay so take your time and single crochet to join this one front panel to this side panel okay and I'll be here once I finish mine okay see I have reached my end over here I have attached this whole round okay so now what we are going to do is we are going to single crochet in this chain this is the starting chain of this panel okay we are going to single crochet all the way till the end here okay so we have already used this last uh, chain here so we are going to go i'm going to go in the next one directly okay here i'm going to work on my tails also yeah here we go here one single crochet then one single crochet in the next and the next 
Yeah. So once we reach at the end of this side, now I'm going to take my other side over here, like it, and it will, the right side will be facing outward, okay, and the wrong side will be facing inward, inside, okay, so like this, now we are going to join this other side also the same way at the bottom of this single crochet insert the hook and where the stitch marker is there we are going to insert the hook pull the yarn and single crochet okay now in the next end of the row end of the stitch in the next one and the next stitch from the other side for and single crochet so in this way we are going to attach it with a single crochet all the way till the end okay when you reach over there then we are going to do the next step together okay see so here i have reached the end okay so now what we are going to do is i'm going to put a single crochet here okay this side so i have worked already this stitch i'm going to work the next stitch single crochet in that yeah and single crochet and each round uh each stitch sorry okay here and then once we here I'm going to remove the stitch marker from the way and I'm going to we have already worked this stitch so going to go in the next stitch here and single crochet here and single crochet in the next and I'm going to single crochet all the way around till here up till here so when you reach here you're going to Simply from this stitch, then you are going to go in this stitch here. Okay. When we reach here, I will meet you here so that I can show you how we are going to do that. Okay. So here I have put my last single crochet here. Okay. So I am going to go directly in this stitch here and make our single crochet. And then single crochet in each stitch to reach across this is the last stitch here and then after from here go directly in this stitch here okay Then single crochet all the way till the other side now see I have reached the other side also this is where we started okay now what we are going to do I'm just going to go in this stitch here slip stitch to join chain one pull up the yarn high just going to snip the yarn that's all for me now if you want you can always go for one or two rounds more if you need it so our purse is ready now we are going to go for the handle part okay now here's the thing if you want you can always uh, do the whip stitching for attaching the panel okay but i like the reaching which has come here so that's okay for me okay. 
Now for the handle part, I'm going to chain six. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Then in the back hump only, single crochet from the second chain from the hook, single crochet. So you'll have five single crochet and then we are going to work back and forth okay till we get nearly 24 inches okay so this will be one side of the handle so you're going to work after the last single crochet chain one Turn your work. You're going to put your first single crochet over here. Then the next and so on. So you'll have five single crochet to work. Back and forth. Till you get 24 inches. Okay. Your length of this uh, single crochet panel should be of 24 inches. So we are going to do like this. Let me show you. Okay. So this will be where we are going to put our handle. So we are going to attach our handle over here. One handle and the so it will be coming round like this okay so that's why you're going to start from here and you're going to work 24 inches for the one side and then another one you're going to just make the same one 24 inches the other side okay you just crochet your work measure it and you can just write down how many rows you did for one side then you can do the same amount of rows for the next handle too okay so in this way you'll have to do two handles okay so just single crochet rows. if you want you can use any other handles any other way whichever you like but this is the simplest one which i like to go for okay so i'll see you when my handles are done and then we'll attach them together okay i have finished my two handles here okay yes my one handle will go here like this okay and another one will be other side now if you want smaller one bigger one it's totally up to you okay so let us attach it so you, you decide where you want it and then take a piece of yarn and we are just going to attach it over here Once I finish whip stitching all the way from this side to all the round, then I'm going to go behind with the yarn is inward. Okay, and then there I'm going to weave in my tail 
and secure it and in the same way you're going to do all the other three parts also attaching okay and I'll be here when I have finished attaching mine okay and then we are going to attach the flower and the beads when you're doing this make sure that your belt is not twisted okay and keep it where you want like this to be okay and then just weave in okay i finish sewing in my handle okay the handles are done okay so the purse is almost ready if you like to keep it like this as you wish okay you can add a lining or you can just use it as it is okay now we are going to attach the flower for the purse okay so i'm going to get my uh, flower here is the flower so now what i want that for the flower part you're going to bring your thread in the middle okay get it in the middle middle of the flower okay like this and then i'm going to insert my needle in the middle of the circle of the panel of the purse okay here in the middle so it inside okay now here inside i had kept the tail of the needle part the starting one just so that i can tie the knot and make the flower more steady okay tie two times and then you can go and weave in that tail later on okay so now we are going to come out from totally other direction not from the middle from one between one of the stitches come out here pick up one stitch here come out like this okay now what we are going to do is pick up one stitch from the bag like this one stitch from the flower and so on okay the same way we attach the flower for the pot or we attach the flower you can now uh, use a glue gun also that will also do the trick but if you sew in it is more steady okay just pick up some stitches one stitch like this then from the flower okay once you have attached the flower it won't come undone even when you're washing the bag and all okay so now i'm going to go inside the purse okay and there i'm going to weave in the tail and the inside okay so because this what the stitches whichever are showing here they are inside so i'll just weave in my tail in some of the stitches here okay
once done just knit the yarn and it's done and it's going to stay very secure so i'm going to weaving that tail later on okay so here's the flower attached to the bag okay you can position this flower wherever you want okay it's not that you should keep it in the middle but i like it in the middle okay isn't it beautiful okay you see this flower can be used in so many places and it is totally gorgeous so now we are going to go for the weed part so what we are going to do is i'm going to go from here inside in the middle of the two stitches here okay put my bead like this okay then go in the other part of the stitch outward that's it is done going to come out just close to it put my next bead like this then go on inward and then again come is close enough put my next one yeah then inside so I'm going to put in the pair of three okay pair of three beads here here and all the way around like this okay so you can sew it however you like okay and then just weave in the thread in the stitches and it won't come undone like this just snip the yarn knot it at the bottom and we'll start here so you can just decide where you want okay put your bead on it I'm going to go ahead and do all the beading work okay I'm going to place them randomly at the round circle in the set of three okay so you can go ahead and do it and I will finish it and I'll be right back here okay so here is the blingy thing ready okay so I have finished sewing in all the beads you can always add more or less however you want okay isn't it the beauty okay so fun and so easy to make okay so this other handle this is the flower and the purse is totally ready so i hope you enjoy making this lovely beautiful elegant purse with me and hope to see you in our next video with something new and something fun so till then take care and bye bye